welcome back to my second part of my Nintendo Direct Impressions and I want to go ahead and start on Xenoblade Chronicles X okay I don't want to you know just keep on giving out too much spoilers because I've seen enough I don't want to keep looking at these YouTube videos you know seeing these hours about hours of streaming this game like I've seen enough I don't want to see any more but I'm completely sold on this game. It's where it's absolutely stunning, beautiful, huge, huge, huge. They said that this world is bigger than Witcher 3, it's bigger than Fallout 4, it's one of the biggest worlds like ever. Like on the Wii U system, I'm surprised this, this system can help this. And besides, the graphics looks freaking beautiful. I guess I could look past the the, the characters' faces on how they kind of look anime-ish, whatever. But besides that, you know, besides that and censoring, you know, their costumes and stuff, you know, I love it. I really do love it. And basically, uh, they said that if you uh, get the, um, if you install the, they got like four different map packs. If you install them, um, whenever you play the game, it, it will, um, you know, better your gameplay and all that. It's free. You don't have to pay for nothing. But if you get the digital version, it automatically comes with it without you install it's like pre-installed whatever whenever you buy it and all that and uh, I'm pretty much hyped for this game it's not really much to say all I know is coming out December 4th I could give you the little plot of the story and I could just uh, I'm gonna just end it right there because I don't want to keep on uh, spoiling stuff but the plot um, the game begins in year 2054 as two alien races engage in battle near Earth causing significant collateral damage to the planet with government sensing Earth's operations, humanity is forced to evacuate the enormous Interstalker Ark ships. Through very few of them manage to escape before the planet is destroyed. The story follows the passengers of American evacuee ship, the White Whale, as they are found two years later by one of the alien races that attacked, causing them to crash land upon a planet mirror. From there, they attempt to establish their new home of New Los Angeles while still being hunted by aliens and after that that's basically all i have to say about xenoblade chronicles x you know i done seen enough i heard enough uh this game actually it actually has a online multiplayer but it's only for the side quest you get to play uh up to four people but you won't be able to play with them uh whenever you know you're doing your little uh single player campaign you know it sucks though but it'll be nice if we can actually have some type of mmo xenoblade now that would be freaking sick I would love to play my friends, um, you know, in an old style on, on these JRPG games. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Let's go ahead and switch over to our next subject. Pokemon Tournament. Well, there's not really much to say about this game, but the game looks pretty good. This looks like something I would love to play. I'm a huge fan of the Taken series. So by uh, Bandai Neko and the Pokemon Company collaborate on this game, this game looks like it's going to be really, really good. And honestly, I think this game is going to be a sleeper hit. Just like how Splatoon was, was an instant hit, and nobody did not expect Splatoon to sell this well. And honestly, I think it might surprise us. Because, of course, it has Pokemon characters. Like, Pokemon fans will buy any kind of Pokemon game. Just put Pokemon characters on there, and it's going to sell millions and millions of of units it's probably gonna sell a lot of consoles even though the wii u is on its last leg but come on guys look it's pokemon <laughs> but like i said it's not really much to say about this i know that uh they did show us uh, a snippet of uh, shadow mewtwo and they say you can't unlock him during your during your um during your playing sessions but you know you can basically unlock him using amiibo card if you want to use them right away so basically, it, it looks pretty cool. You know, Pikachu moves looks pretty cool. Like, you know, I, I am going to buy this. I know, I know some people said this game looks like a, a imitation of the Naruto game, but me, honestly, I I really hadn't got into the Naruto games. I'm just I'm just I'm just not really into the into the anime video games. I was just really not. I just really never got into them. But this game right here it looks like I will you know spend a lot of a lot of hours playing. But y'all just let me know how y'all feel about Pokemon Tournament. Are y'all excited about it? I am I'm starting to get a little hype for this game. Like, y'all just let me know. Let's go ahead and skip to our next subject. Our next subject is going to be Star Fox. Oh, yes, Star Fox. The controversial game ever since E3, a lot of people like it and a lot of people didn't. You know, 
for me, I did not like what I saw. The game looks fun. I said that plenty of times. It looks very fun, but the world looks empty. Like, I didn't understand why Nintendo would show a game like that, knowing that's supposed to be one of your biggest, biggest uh, franchises. And, you know, just by, by the game looking like that, and it, it just turned a lot of people off. Like, just think if, if Nintendo come with a, a Zelda game, you know, you know, Zelda, like, that's one of the biggest franchises in the world, Zelda. Okay, what happened if Nintendo would show a, a brand new Zelda game looking like Star Fox in E3? They, a lot of Zelda fans would have been pissed off. And, you know, of course, a lot of Star Fox fans was pissed. And, of course, you got the Nintendo fanboys that was basically was like, what are you talking about? This game looks beautiful. Like, wow. Damn, if, if they said the game looked beautiful, then I, I need to... I need, I need to get some of that crack that they got because they, they smoking that good crack or something like that. <laughs> or they just, they just need some freaking, they need some glasses. They need some, some bifocals, some trifocals. I don't, I don't, they need something because what I saw at E3, that, that couldn't be, that couldn't be the same thing that I saw, what they saw. I, I just could not understand. But whenever I saw this new trailer of Star Fox, I was like, why they did not give us this trailer at E3? Why they did not give it to us? Because this trade looked a lot better. The gameplay looks a lot better. It looks like it runs a lot smoother. You know, of course, the Platinum Games, they was one of the ones that said that we had to delay this game because we need to give this game a Platinum feel to it. And I'm starting to see that Platinum feel. It looks like they still got some work to, to do. Hopefully they put more enemies, you know, out there. Hopefully they could, you know, fix some of the textures. I know they gave it better lighting, better resolution. But there's still work to be done. And I know they did not mention anything about any online functionalities. And it makes sense that we could play with our friends online. Like, it does not make sense that it's only still a single player campaign. This game is a shooting game. A shooter game is supposed to be online. We are almost in the year 2016. And yes, I know Nintendo, they are, they are trying with this online game. Of course, with Splatoon. Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, you know, Mario Tennis, yes, they are trying, you know, but they could do a, a little bit better job, you know, especially with games that actually make sense to play online, and I would love to play this game online, like I said, this, you know, game, this right here would be a guaranteed purchase for me, you know, to, you know, uh, if I, for me to buy this game, if they would have announced online gameplay, but I'm still on the fence on buying this game, and time will tell. Time will tell, it, like I said, it looks improved, it looks a lot better, better trailers, you know, the graphics look a lot better, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get another direct whenever uh, Star Fox is um, getting close to coming out, and that's going to basically, that's basically going to, um, I'm a judge, I'm going to give my final judgment on whether if I'm going to buy the game or not, but I do want to get this game, so I'm, right now I'm on a 70-30. Uh, it's a 70% chance that I'm going to buy this game, 30% chance that I won't, but just just give me some more feedback about this game because I still feel that it still needs to be polished more. I still feel that we need a little bit more content, but anyway, y'all just let me know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all think that Star Fox still need a little bit more content? in this game for y'all to be interested in or are y'all happy of what y'all saw no don't get me wrong I'm, I'm 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 a lot more satisfied than what i saw in e3 it's a a vast uh improvement but it's it's still uh more room for improvement but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i'm gonna go ahead and um uh, do my third part later on tonight this is my second part and my third part is gonna be my final part and i'm gonna talk about uh some 3ds games and of course a lot of y'all been uh wanted me to talk about cloud from final fantasy and i'm giving my feedback on that but anyway y'all leave y'all comments and in the comment section below y'all just give me your feedback uh, about Pokemon tournament xenoblade chronicles x and star fox do or y'all pretty much hype for all three of those games or if not just let me know which one or y'all picking up anyway guys i'm out of here uh, uh like comment subscribe and once again it's your boy we're getting 27 and y'all have a good day